Let's get it, boys. Round four. Final 32 on Xbox, and we're playing Civil for a chance to go to the final 16. All right, boys, I'm sure you know Civil, man. He's on YouTube. He's on Twitch. One of the best young players in the world. Definitely best young YouTubers for sure. So make sure you guys check him out. Check out all these games live on Twitch, man. We're grinding every single night. I appreciate you guys. Hit the like. Hit the sub. Follow. I'm I'm hoping you guys are getting a little bit better watching these videos. I know you're used to me yelling and screaming or being upset, but this is calm and tell you guys what goes through my head because a lot of you guys really just don't understand how much thinking is involved in these games. So let's get to a civil now. I should have did a little more research. I should have seen the bracket and had an idea of what he's going to bring to the table, what his offense is, what his defense is. I, I honestly really don't know. I've kind of been just focused on myself. So I'm going to this game kind of blind as well. So let's take a look. Here we are. We're playing the Cuddle Bunny. The Cuddle Bunny. Nice. I mean, I'll be honest. The Civil's a great player, but I've definitely gotten a better of him in our in the last in both our lives for sure. Definitely have. So hopefully we can keep that going. Hopefully we can uh, come out here with a dub. We're gonna kick the ball off first. That's always great. He's over here in the Detroit Lions jerseys. Big Lions fan. Got to check his abilities. Nothing really crazy. Same thing everybody else. Little man coverage abilities. Little. You know, inside stuff, lurker. So when you see lurker, I think, I think you might run a little six-one blitz everybody type of thing. So, kind of don't want to see that defense. Oh, we'll see. Now, I'll be honest. Uh, people told me I accepted the penalty. Uh, one, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Uh, normally, I always give people their delay of game. Uh, I kind of was just spamming A and just like every other game, like let's get to it. I and I'm sorry about that. But at the end of the day, man, uh, if you're going to take a delay a game, you're at the mercy of the person if they're going to accept it or not. I really didn't mean to, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was like, I've always been like the uncle of the man community. Now I have to, you know, show respect. So for me doing that, didn't mean to. So that was kind of Bush League, but uh, it wasn't on purpose for sure. But here we go, gun tight. Same thing as everybody else, man. I'm going to put a deep third over on the left to stop a corner route to Moss. We're going to use her to right side for the most part. We're going to then... Put a hard flat on the right for all starter flat passes over here. And uh, we'll see what he got to start the game. Now, I realized he has Puller Elite on his guard. He's in tight, not tight offset. I know that. That's a big difference because there's different running plays. Tight offset will have an 0-1 trap where I want to stand on the left side. And tight offset will have an inside zone as well. But tight, just tight, has a base. And a base will have that number 64 pulling. So maybe I can hit that gap that he leaves when he does pull. So that's kind of why I'm standing over there. We'll see. He's doing a lot of high routes, first and 15, because I did accept that penalty. But, you know, I mean, listen, this is a big money game. This is an important game. So, we'll see what he does here first down. Taking a lot of time here. Once again, going for bench corner routes, we're all over it. Like, that's why I put those deep blues over there. He probably could have hit Gonzalez, but we get a sack the first play. Love to see that. That's exactly what we want to see, exactly what we need. And we get, you know, like I said, we get a sack. Second and 21 here. Same thing. You see it right there. We're going to have a deep third now because we don't want to give up a post. We get to a long yardage. We don't want nothing deep over the middle. We got that deep third on the left. Pretty much covered through one side, man the other side. I have anything that breaks to the right side of the field with my user. That's pretty much how I think about it. The left side, I'm going to leave alone because anybody going to the corner is going to be covered. Anybody crossing routes, they're manned up and they're covered. I got the right side. That's how my lurk is. That's where I know where I need to go. He can have that dump off for the most part. Just make a tackle. Got a little bit more than I wanted him to. We got third and 11 here. Probably going to do the same, a similar defense. He dumps the ball off there to all start. But we man him up with Holland. Or we put a hard flat. We get a big tackle there. He's going to punt the ball. So great start to the drive. Great start to the day. Or great start to the game. You know, I already won. I accepted the penalty. I mean, by accident, but not by accident. You know, who cares? On to the next, and he's in a little dollar here. So I th thought maybe 6-1, but he's going to be dollar, and he's going to shoot the inside zone pretty well. The one thing about Civil is that he will stop the run. You see him shifting the line there to shoot through that A gap with his user there. Uh, so can't really run the ball in this look, but I'm going to go ahead and motion out, look for a corner route here. It's only a three-man rush. It's got everything covered for the most part. I don't want to take any chances. I should have put, if you look at this, I put a curl on Devontae Adams. 
I should have put him on a 10 yard in route or a smart routed in route so I have someone else to throw to like right in that spot that he vacates to use it a corner route yeah so that's a, a hindsight looking back at it nothing doing so we get to a third and eight here this time looks like he's gonna bring pressure the difference is his line is pinched he's getting aggressive in the box here we'll see what he chooses to do <clears throat> but that's what I'm thinking at the line of scrimmage here and we got kind of a similar thing right here similar play only a three-man rush we're gonna have time we throw this to Moss come back and get it right there still looked like cover four right there and I was able to just click on get in front of it big body to Moss that's what we love to see try another inside zone he's really stopping that well as we lose yards there par and we go up top bad animation on, right man. there yeah, like, I, I mean, this should have been a big play. And you see man of coverage now. I thought it should have been a big play, but bad animation, and we don't get nothing. So we get to a third and 11 here. He blitzes everybody. Oh, my God, dude. Just and this, we throw a pick. Him, man, come on. There's just no way, man. It's just a tough pick it's if you guys free. see. You guys see me play all the time. This is man blitz. It's man blitz. He has the running back. He has to get into the flat to chase Mixon. If not, I hit Mixon for a huge play. And my read on this play, I know it's man free. No safety, nothing. My read is his user. Does he chase the running back or does he stay in the middle field? If he stays in the middle field, I'm going to hit the running back. But if you look at what he does right here, bang, he's out to the running back. So I'm off the running back right away. My next read is Justin Jefferson, who has short and elite slant over the middle of the field. He will beat man coverage every single time. But if you watch this interaction between his user and Justin Jefferson you just can't predict that look at it that little bump just made Moss be able to oh get God, in front dude, bump, God, and that helps us throw the pick you see that bump and just it's a timing play it's a timing route that I throw a lot especially if you guys watch man I throw that that quick slant a lot to that short and elite my best wide receiver is probably there over in the right spot uh oh here he goes with a little draw we stopped that bottle that up Good user right there, just getting through with uh, Atwater there. So we get to the second eight. He's going to audible down here. I think we're going to audible to cover four here. Yep. Just bring everybody down in the box. Try to stop the run. That's our goal here. Tackle Sneed. Let's go. Come on, man. You don't want to play. You don't want to play for real. Big tackle right there. Get to a third and six. He has fringe field goal range, and he, he runs a draw there. I, You know, that's that's a scary call. That's a scary call. Although he was in field goal range, still wouldn't be mine to be a little bit more aggressive there. So same thing, man coverage. You see he's not baseline here. I think this is just two men under, I think. Oh, no, it's cover four. So we get sacked because of that. Good, good disguise. Might have been covered through cloud. I'm really not sure. But we get sacked right there because we ran a man play against zone. Second quarter, so we're playing good defense, but he's definitely right back at me with good defense. What the same fuck? thing, same thing. Watch this pick as we do a pick here. Same exact play, man coverage, man free. Same thing. And look at, at look at Justin Jefferson is on a slant, a slant, and watch what happens, man. What the fuck, dog? Like, there's just no way that he's pressing him like this and bumping him mid. Like, there's just no way, dog. Look at this. Just like he gets like a stupid step and gets pressed again in the middle of that. And this causes the, the timing where normally I throw that pass and we're, we're off what for 10, 15 like, yards. So tough two picks on timing routes that, that normally are easy reads on the slant for me. Right here, we're just so baggy. We're going to click off and go get A-Rod. Just nothing open for him. Manning up the running back, second and six. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling good on defense, man. But those two picks are obviously going to cause him at least to have six points here. Dumps the ball off here. Uh, picks up some yards with Allstott. He's got a first and 10 on the 15. Got to play the run here. Got to... Uh, ooh, a little whip route to Jefferson. Great call right there. Big stiff arm. He gets a first down inside the five, boys. This is, this is not looking too good for the boys. We're probably in cover four here. Trying to stop the run. A lot of people in the box and you see i'm trying to shoot through that gap where he runs that base even when he motions draw and just has the biggest run commit of my life dude and draw walks in the end zone like we did run commit and so tough really tough start right now down by 10. two picks that i throw all the time or not picks i throw but passes i throw all the time that just didn't work out you know so 
But I'm not. I'm not. I would throw those passes again. I'm feeling good on offense. I believe this is cover four from the line. The the look before he base aligns. Someone in motion out here. We want Moss on a corner out here. Oh, he blitzes a lot. Oh, we hit a curl right there. Boom. Baby dot. Baby curl. Love to see it. That time the curl worked. Earlier I talked about having an in route. That time the curl was open in a little spot that vacated on blitz. Closing in a two-minute warning here. I get the ball to half, so I just got to keep fighting. This time we're going to go 10-yard oh in route. God, man. My God. And we run out of time, so that's never good. It's first and 15 here. We try to freeform pass. Nothing doing. Second and 15 here. Things are looking bad for the offense here, boys. We got to dial in. Same play here. Same setup. Finally. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Freeform works. We completed a slant for the first time in the game. Uh, here we go again. Three-man rush. We're going to playmaker. I'm going to put a little touch so I don't get lurked here. We're going to grab this and almost get an end zone. Great job there. Now, you see here, this is just cover four. Now, a lot of times what these pro players will do, they'll click on that corner right there. You can't just throw it to them. And then I anticipated that when I was rolling out. You see him clicked on him right there. So I'm assuming he's going to run with him. So instead of bullet passing, we're just going to put a little touch. That way he can't come anywhere near it. Lob the ball up. Now we're going to try to use a little bit of clock here. Eye tight right here. He actually had a sneaky little good run defense where he runs through the middle. Like that, like you see it. Ah, mix and fight. Uh, he might use a timeout. Yeah, to try to get the ball back here. So we're going to come on goal line. Full back dive. Derrick Henry getting the end zone. So we fight back. We get the ball to half. We're, I mean, we're as good as we're going to be, man. I'm not... Listen, his 10 points have come off turnovers that I, I honestly... They were lucky. They were lucky. Not extremely lucky, but both of them were just unpredictable for the most part. So, we got to play defense. We got to make him get to a point where he's not comfortable, where he has to play from behind, where he has to try to make plays in the passing game. Once again, we're covering a yeah, little baby out route there to Parham. Nice play. You know, he needs to mix a little bit more of that in uh, going down through this game. So, man coverage here. Got the hard flat. I didn't like that little quick out route, so I put a hard flat over there. Good lurk here. He throws the ball away. We got pressure in time to, to uh, force him to throw the ball away. Third and one. It's a big play here. We don't want him to get this first down. We want to have to make him a decision. He might run. He goes with the draw and gets... Oh, oh just crosses the line. But that's okay because it's going to keep the clock moving. Uh, we don't want him to get any points here. He's nowhere near scoring. Next play is goes for this right here, but we got tons of people around it. Knock the ball out of Parham. Second and 10. 35 seconds left on the clock. He's still 40, 50 yards away from being in field goal range. Same setup on defense here. He's going to motion right or right to left. We got nobody on Parham now. So my job is Parham. I got Parham. I got Parham. That's what I'm thinking right now. He goes across the middle. I'm all over him. He gets a big sack right here. I might call timeout. Yeah, let's call timeout. Third and long. Let's see if he can mess up here. Uh, hopefully get the ball back here. Third and long. What play does he have dialed up? We're going to send five here. Send everybody. He's just going to dump it off. Get over there. Make a tackle at Atwater. Call our last timeout and force a punt. Oh, dog, there's no way you... Yeah, I'm just mad that this guy didn't catch the ball. So we're at the 19-yard line now. 17 seconds. We can make something happen. I have done more with less. Uh, one big dot. One corner route. We're close to midfield. And then we got a dot to get in the... We got a timeout left. So let's see if we can cook something up. We get the ball to have. Of course, we can't have any turnovers here. I'm thinking he's going to go just straight man, uh, cover four here, and that's what he does do. Dump the ball off. Never be afraid to do that. Dump the ball off. It took five seconds, but we got a good 10 yards. So now you're looking at 12 seconds. You're looking at two big plays you, you're going to have here. Got to get one for like 30 yards and another one for like 20 yards. He's going to be straight cover four. I'm looking for Moss on this corner route here. As we're going to step up here. All right, Rogers. Timeout. Six seconds left. 38 yard line. And this is the play of the game. Four man rush right here. He leaves one on one with Devontae Adams. One on one with Moss, too. But I like Adams to the middle. Adams going to go up with the ball. And oh, oh Devontae, I'm trolling. Come on, man, for the I'm boys. trolling. Not a, play, not a play of the game. But he could have made a crazy catch right God, there. Man. I, I, I thought this was like brain dead defense right here. Honestly, like you got six seconds. I have no timeouts. I'm like 40 yards from field goal range. I, it's pretty much one play, and your call is to go two man under 
with no deep blue in the middle of the field. Like, this was actually... I don't know where the hell his user's going. I, I honestly don't know, but... You know, that was... I almost could have cost him there. So, 10-7. to 7, We had two bad picks. We're alive. We're staying alive. This is a sweat game. I definitely got to uh, put it together here in the second half. And we'll go up top. Cover two. We see that instantly. And I'll show you guys how I knew it was cover two. Just because, you know, you guys are my YouTube viewers. Shout out to all the YouTubers right here. If you look at the slot corners, the one on the left is really close, right? And the one on the right is like five yards off the defensive end. That's DB fire. Every time you do that when they run dollar, that's DB fire. Also, if you look at the corners, they're five yards off the ball, right? When they're when the corners are five yards off the ball, that's normally covered too. Uh, get used to seeing that but before he baselines or shifts or anything like that. But mostly what gave it up was just the slot corners. One is really close on the left side. The other one is five yards off. Always DB fire when that alignment is out there. I don't know how many people know that or how many people really pay attention to that stuff, but that's what made me call this play on first down. 100% made me call this play, get a big play against straight cover to Justin Jefferson down the sideline, and we're close to field goal range, just like that. And uh, this is cover four. Same thing, same way I know that it's DB fire, I know that this is cover four. Just the, the way they align out of the thing. Now, Civil could do a better job of base aligning in his pregame menu, as right there. Yup, yep. Inevitable, bro. Just no point in ever trying to I can't wait to get a faster quarterback here because look at this space I have. You know, he takes Atwater, guards the corner route. And another thing, I should have took the time to put Justin Jefferson on something other than this here uh, pulse route so I could throw to this giant void right here. So that curl route that we did in the first half or that deep in route in the first half, both of them would have worked perfectly because we have him bailing out to the corner route. But I have him on a post, so he's not an option. The running back could have been a dump off, but he's not getting much. The scramble is here. And honestly, I've been playing I've been playing Madden with Aaron Rodgers for 15 years, right? He's always been kind of mobile. So to see here and just not be able to get 10 yards on this look right here is tough. It is tough. In my mind, I say let's go for it. And we we get going and we just get caught. And and the worst part about this. And this happens to me all the time is that you can give yourself up in the pocket and you can slide right but what do you do right at this moment right here where you're right at the line you're not behind it you're not in front of it there's no button to give yourself up here and it cost me so much right here and then right here obviously i fumble that's super tough uh as we had a good drive going and we fumble so we're good i mean we're dialed on defense he's going to audible down when you're audible and down to the run you don't want to pass he does not want to pass uh he does not want to play he doesn't want to pass so i feel good about this have fun dude you want to try to get some free yards good job give him a round of applause shit, man. Tackle this fucking bum, bro. yeah dude see dog shit. Like actual fucking dog shit. yeah precisely so, I mean, in a game, we have three turnovers right now. We have three turnovers that has no turnovers. So, we got to change that. We got to do something about it. Uh, once again, great defense corner route. Moss. Ooh, oh, that's a Moss. I put Carlton. Actually, what I did in the middle of this game was I put Carlton, who had mid, mid zone knock or mid knockout on that corner route. So, he would always knock it out. So he doesn't really have much going for him on offense, man. The run and this all stop pass, this little snap throw to all stop have kind of been his bread and butter so far. So those are the things we really got to stop here. He goes with a play action. Look, absolutely nothing open here. He's got to throw the ball away. Come on, man. Run the ball. You're a runner, dog. Third and 10. Once again, we're stopping the left side corner route. We're lurking the right side corner route, and we're looking the middle of the field. Motion, that's fine. That means one of those three guys is going to the middle. One is going deep, and one's going to the sideline. That's all it means. So right there, it's just, I, honestly, this is just, when you ever do this, why? and I did see that he switched Moss over to the right. That's what he did. Uh, he probably did that to run a post route with him or something like that, but I noticed that during the play motions uh left to right that means any bunch look one's going middle one's going deep one's going to the right that's that's how, how it's going to work so what we're going to do is we're going to have to lurk the middle here so we put that guy on a deep third nobody's on moss right now if moss goes deep i have moss 
running with it in the middle of the field. Absolutely nothing open. Throw the ball away, please. Throw the ball away, please. Oh, Give me the football. He gets to a fourth and ten here. He flipped his formation. This play, he's just going to chuck. That Mid knockout. Let's go. Just chuck and pray. This dude is dog shit. Come on, man. Dude I said. Dog shit. Chuck and pray. Chuck he just it. chucked her. I'm going to close my fucking eyes and throw the ball high. Yeah, that's what he did. Close his eyes. Do the ball high, but Hayes had medium knockout, knocks it out. Cover four again from Civil here. We're going to do the same thing. Motion out, streak, corner, hitch route. Uh, actually, he manned up the corner there. Great defense, honestly. Uh, who man? Who'd he man up on the corner route here? The slot or the, the linebacker? It's actually the linebacker. Look at that. It, look at that. Michael Parsons just bagging. Good defense. Now here you see he's using the other guy. He's using the left side, so he must have did something different here. DB fire, blitz, beautiful read, beautiful dot to par him. First down inside the 20-yard line. Got to score a touchdown here. Got to. Uh, we're going to go right here with uh, yeah, beautiful play right here. Once again, corner route. We got him going to the corner. Deep dig, backside, Devontae. Huh! Let's go, man! Beautiful route. Beautiful route against those cover four zones. Nobody's really in the middle. The thing yeah, about tight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fumble. We got to get there. This has to be at the 10 yard line. But the thing about tight boys is that everybody's going to be playing the sideline because of Three your corner route. Now. Holy shit, dude. Those deep dig routes are going to be open for oh, you for down. sure. Three tight ends in the game here for Civil. He just dumps the ball off to Allstott. Honestly, might have been the only pass he completed today. That's all he's been able to throw so far. So we feel good on defense. We actually fought back. We had we had really three turnovers, three unlucky turn, turnovers for me. He's running the Come ball here. here again. And he's, it, I mean, we're just, I, I feel like he's nervous. I feel like he doesn't want to pass. Uh, and everything I'm taking with that one blue route on the left, that one third on the left is giving him trouble. Nothing open. No corner route, no bench, no nothing. That if you guys are struggling with corner routes, man, I'm telling you, put a deep third over there in your man coverage. You're going to bait them to so many corner routes. And I've ran this same defense the whole time. Another that's dump it, off to the running back. Old, dude. That's his fucking old. God, hey, we got to stop shit. that. We got to stop that for sure. But, you know. So we're going to keep him manned up. The, the thing he did the last play was he flipped the formation and chucked it to his running back. <clears throat> Great defense Sack right here. Ball, Sack ball. Ball, ball. Ball, Come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Let's go, man. He can't pass at all. Baja. Come on, man. Bum, man. Just like that, we get a sack. Lawrence Taylor tries to throw the ball away. Nothing doing. Fumble six. We're up 11 points now. And the way he's playing offense this game is I just got to be safe. No big plays. And he, once again, he goes for the motion. The motion is running back. Beautiful lurk right here, all over it. Nothing to get for him, and he Nothing. slides he forward. He can't find a soul open. Not like I said, he motions over here. I got Atwater. We don't got a guard the right. We know once this guy goes on a slant across the middle, we know somebody's coming back the other way. The slant or the in route is to get you to try to go that way so he can throw something deeper down the field. And he probably could have do this little in route for eight yards, but he wanted a deeper post, so... You go get the deeper post right here. Right here, he's just waiting to see who I lurk on, and I'm going to go get the deeper guy, and you got nothing. Nothing. Oh, that was a good job. Just waiting. Just enough time right there. He did, does a whip route. I'm kind of covering everybody over here. Once again, I think he goes corner route to the left. Nothing's open on the left side of the field. Uh, I should have went with the whip route, but I was worried about the slant coming back across the middle. He got it off just in time. Another dump off pass to Allstott there. As we get here to the end of the third quarter. Let's see if he snaps the ball to get a playoff here. He should. He's down 11 points. He does. He runs a little play action. Knockout? Oh, I think that was medium knockout. That was a short pass. Fourth quarter. We're up by 11. Feeling groovy. Our defense is smothering. He hasn't had a pass past the past the five yard mark that's been complete. So just continue on that that tra trajectory as we see. Once again, Moss knocks out the ball from it's Gonzalez. Chuck it's Chuck time. He's just chucking the ball downfield. Like I said he hasn't had a pass. 
uh, over 10 yards at all the whole game. So if we keep it, if we keep on that defense, then he won't be able to go ahead and get back in this football game. Motion out, whip route again, all over. We get a shed from Warren Sapp. Fourth and four. This is for the game. We're moving people around right now. Make sure we get our knockouts in the right spot. Fourth down here. We're going to rush three, it looks like. Yep, rush three. We're covering corner routes, covering whip routes to the left. We got the middle of the field and the right right breaking routes. Maybe corner route, maybe whip route, anything over there. And he's got nothing open, dude. Hell nothing. No. Hell no. Get off my field, man. Five tight ends in the goddamn game. Five tight ends. Five tight ends for that. For that dog shit play, man. All over it. Three-man rush. Been blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. Like I said, he hasn't gotten a soul open down the field. So now we just got to get in field goal range. Hopefully we can get this to the two-minute warning or something like that. We're really not pushing the ball down the field right now. That's where an emotion over. Hopefully get another blocker here for our inside zone. We're IDing his user. I mean, all the nerds told me this is what you do. We're milking the clock all the way down to one. Clock is my friend right now. We do actually block his user. We actually almost pick up a first down. Mixing, we do. Big run from him. Tick, 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 tick as we get down here. Under four minutes. Uh, five seconds of the clock. We go to eye tight. Let's go to eye tight. Once again, one second left. We're going to run the ball here. Pick up a nice ace. And the thing about this, if you guys take notes, I called eye tight and he still came out in dollar. Oh, so what man. I'm going to do is I'm going to no huddle. I'm going to no huddle every single time and milk this clock because he can't use his timeouts. He's stuck in dollar. He should go off sides and give me a first down here and at least stop the clock and get into a run defense. But he's literally going to take, he's going to let me take the whole clock here and he's going to stay in dollar. There it is. Yep, no huddle again. We'll Bring him right back. Ya. Bring we'll him right back. Ya, yep. We'll be seeing ya. I would definitely go we'll offside here. Ya. Or use a timeout. But he's just going to take it. He's just going to take Derrick Henry right up the gut. Power O, power football. Because this is what we got. This is the time we're at. This is how we're feeling. And honestly, I think uh, he's going to stop it. We're going to get to the two-minute warning here. I, like I said, I would almost take a knee right here. I know I went on conservative. I would almost take a knee. As he chooses not to use his timeouts here, we're going to milk this all the way down as far as we can. Third and goal right here. And we're going to snap the ball. We're going to run right here. Derrick Henry picks up something. I have no problem kicking this field goal. We're going to take the lay to milk as much time as possible. No problem kicking this field goal, going up two scores. I knew it was a flood from the first quarter. Because he had, like I said, he hasn't had a pass past 10 yards. So for me, if I keep that going, there's no way he scores two touchdowns in 50 seconds. There's no way. How could, how, how, what have you seen from this game to make him think he can score a touchdown, two touchdowns in 50 seconds? So for me, just keep doing what I'm doing. And right there, he throws it up. Nothing, nothing. 11 for 22 for 106 yards. So we're feeling good, definitely, about, about our defense. Our defense is winning us this game. It started bad. Two lucky turnovers. And from here on out, we're just bagging. Whip route. He's got just chucking the ball. Nothing bagged. Two people on that corner route. Two people over there the whole game. We've had two people the whole game over there. We've had two people on the left side the whole game. Deep left has been two people the entire game. Third and ten, he's going to motion out again. I know he can't throw to the left, right? He can't throw a whip route now to the right. We got the middle of the field. He goes for nothing. Goes up top. We swat the ball. We swat it again, and of course, yeah, he catches the ball. I swatted it twice and he caught it. So bad, dude. I swatted it twice and he caught it. Good game, dog. If I would have swatted it once, maybe not. You know, good game, though. Well, oh, that's what happens. Tough scene for the boys. No, just stay at it. What are you going to do? I tell you, the SWAT is really good this year. The problem with the SWAT is that the wide receivers will catch the ball. They will. So that's kind of tough. He goes up top here. Overthrow. 29 seconds left. I come out in three deep because, you know, I just don't I want, I don't want to get mossed. I don't want the ball going over my head. 
And of course, we get teabagged anyway for a touchdown. Nice. Good scene. Good scene. He's going to go for an onside kick here. Doesn't get it. 22 seconds. We're just going to run the ball here. Make him use his timeouts. He does. But we're able to kick. Actually, what I did there was a smart. Third and four here. I'm at the 37-yard line. But it was only two weeks into the game. How far can your kicker kick? That's a good point, right? We don't know. So what I do here on, on third down, I come out and look at the field goal. Hmm. I have six mile an hour wind left to right. I can make this field goal from here. So I don't need to gain any more yards. I just can't lose any. So I might even go just with a dive right up the middle to try to get this try to get this secured. As he gets, as he actually tackles me, and we lose yards. 38 yard line. And we're gonna kick field goals. GG's. That'll end the game. That'll end the game. Three deep here. GG's. As he goes up top, of course he, up oh, nothing. Goes up top again. Last play of the game. He's gonna chuck it up to Allstott again. Actually, probably gonna catch this one and chuck the ball back. Game's over. GGS. GGS. Like I said, these were the picks I threw right here. Look at this, this, this absolute just. Like I, I, I guess this isn't PI, but like. And honestly, if I would have anticipated this, the running back's probably a touchdown. But I don't anticipate my dude getting molested like that. You know, I don't, uh, you know, when, how can you anticipate that? I just saw his user go to that, so I'm looking at the slant. Now, yep. Now, all the, all the uh, quarterbacks in, in the yard are going to tell me I could have hit the running back. Yeah, obviously. But I don't expect his user to get hung up like that, right? So my read is his user. And look where his user shoots to the running back. You guys know I throw the slant a million times. Yeah, this one was worse. Dog, like just wide, right? What is this? What, like, what is this? It's EA? a slant. This is a is slant. This? A slant. Same play. Tough. That's tough. But GG's, man. Great game. I mean, my defensive game plan for tight was immaculate. We, like I said, he did not complete. I'm mad that he completed those two chucks because it made his quarterback stats look good, but he was absolutely in a bag. One of the best defensive games I played. Came up with, I had three turnovers, three turnovers, and we won that game fairly easily. Uh, like I said, get this video to 1,000 likes. We are on to round six, the final 16 of this tournament. We're playing great ball. We're, we're moving like we want to, but the final 16, we play one of the best players ever. We play young Kiv. So get this up to a thousand likes and I'll post final 16 round six of the tournament I believe against Kiv one of the best games ever for sure boys so make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe GG's the civil maze great player for sure and uh be on the lookout for all his content as well let's keep this momentum going for these tournament games I appreciate you guys showing mad love